Hey guys, it's your girl Sinead of Pretty in Coils. So I haven't created a video in just a touch of a while, if that makes sense. But anyways, I'm back. I actually wanted to try out a product that I saw in the store. It's actually called Dark and Lovely Go Intense Color Spray. I got it in the color Silver Lining, which is basically like a gray silver color. Now, <laughs> I'm so scared to put this on my hair because when I was in the store, I was like, okay, silver, this sounds kind of fun. And then I got home and I was like, oh, silver? What am I about to do? I don't know. Like, I've had the whole gray hair before, but I just don't know how it's going to look on my actual natural hair. Um, the last time I did this sort of temporary color thing, it was the L'Oreal Hair Chalk, which I have a video for, and that turned out pretty well. I did it in a fuchsia. Actually, that's the first time I used it. It was in this fuchsia pink sort of color, and that turned out really well. The second time I used that same product, I did it in this gold bronze sort of color, and it looked so bad on me, like it, it just did not work out. So now I am trying a silver, and I'm going to see... How it looks my hair is kind of wet right now um but let's read the instructions first and foremost i don't even know how this works i never even read it um it says vibrant color that pops on dark hair no ammonia no peroxide no bleach required temporary color rinses out in one shampoo intensity and duration will vary depending on color and condition of hair directions cover your shoulder with the towel shake well before each usage spray on dry hair four to six inches away from your hair reapply for more impact let hair dry for a few minutes okay so i just said my hair was wet i'm gonna let this dry just a little bit more well i'm gonna let it dry all the way and of course i have full face of makeup which is a bad idea don't put this on while you're wearing makeup and this is actually the bottle because i don't think i showed you guys this this is it so my hair is gonna dry then i'm gonna i'm gonna spray this on and be right back So, <laughs> these are the results, and um, it looks a bit like Cisco. If Cisco was an like 80 year old grandma, <laughs> I'm definitely washing this out tomorrow. So, anyways, um. These are the results of the Dark and Lovely Go Intense Color Sprays in Silver Lining. Um, on the bottle, they actually use it on braids. And to be honest, I think it's probably best, at least in my opinion, that if your hair looks like mine, you know, maybe don't do this, you know? I think since my hair is at an awkward length, so if you have shorter hair, like really short, um almost bald really really short cut it might be cute or if you have really long hair and you do like the ends it might be cute but <laughs> no no I actually really like the product I'm not gonna lie this is a really really good product this is a wrong color for me but a really good product I love how it sprays because you can't tell by the nozzle, but it sprays pretty evenly, and I think that's pretty cool. And I didn't even need the whole bottle. This was like $6.97, I think, at Walmart. So, yeah, if you want something cute and quick, pick a different color. Don't pick silver lining unless you have really short hair or you're going to put it on your braids or something like that. But I'm not doing this again. In this color I'm actually gonna get another color and try it out but this <laughs> no 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 I look like anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video all the details of my makeup is gonna be in the description box and you can definitely check me out on Instagram
Instagram for more of my makeup looks that don't make it to YouTube. So my Instagram is pretty in coils, which is the same as my YouTube channel, of course. And remember to thumbs up and subscribe.